Hello everyone, and welcome to part 19 of Don't Starve Inner Giants. It has been quite a while. Three months, maybe. Maybe more. Maybe less. I don't know. Now, let me explain myself here real quick. Uh, you already know this is my main character. This is the, the original Don't Starve character. Or, Don't Starve Inner Giants character. And this is the character I was playing with on a stream once. Uh, he's purely for the stream. Uh, I don't play him otherwise. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Hear me out. Don't Starve Inner Giants when we played it. It was, again, like three or four months ago. That was when it was still early access. Uh, they were still doing some balance tweaks. I don't know if we get all the world gen back when I play. I think a smart decision, or I think what I really want to do is... I'm not going to kill the character. I'm not going to delete the character. Deleting the character is pointless. If I kill the character, I get the XP because I've never died in the game, so I get a lot of the characters. Now, what I'm thinking of doing here is creating a new game and playing as Weber. The reason I say that, <laughs> the reason I say that, consider the first 18 episodes, and I, I really hate to do this, I really don't like doing this in any of my series. I always like to keep them going, and then if you know something happens, I make a new one. What I'm thinking of doing is playing Weber, and the reason for that is to break it up. My main character, I have 289 days with Wilson, and I love every fucking moment of it, and I'm still not done with the game yet. There's still a crap ton for me to do here, but I think rather than just making another random Giants character as Wilson, I should just do Weber. It'd break up the... It'd make it different. It'd make it cool. Uh, change it up. I may try another character later on. But the thing is, if I get a new game here, and I go to character, I'm not going to have the other characters. And yes, I know characters like Wes can only be unlocked during, uh, I think, the Invent Adventure mode, or uh, when, when you're unlocking Maxwell here. But a lot of the other characters come from XP. And Weber, of course, came from whenever we picked up the Spider Skull and we buried it in our, you know, our 18-episode original series here of Reign of Giants. Now, I'm considering playing Weber because he's completely different. He, he's got a lot of different benefits, a lot of different negatives. Like Wilson, he still grows a beard, so he gets, like, right there it says, grows a silky smooth beard. So, we can get silk from shaving. Can befriend spiders. I, I'm reading upside down, I know. Okay, he can befriend spiders. So, rather than pigs, I can feed spiders, and I can make them my allies. And I can have, like, spider armies. And that's pretty badass if you ask me. The possibilities are endless. Kind of like with pigs, how I can locate them in my base, and, you know, they can be there to defend me. But the thing is, spiders don't have to worry about full moons and them going ape shit and killing you. Is a monster. That's a benefit and a drawback in its own right. Uh, spiders obviously will not attack me. However, pigs will. Uh, bunny men, I believe, will always attack me, regardless of whether or not I have meat in my inventory, because they see me as a spider. So there's some negatives. Uh, he also has, I believe, half the sanity as regular characters, or at least Wilson. He has 100 sanity. So he's got some downsides, but he's got a lot of upsides. And I just think it'd be an overall fun, fun character to play. So I'm going to roll with it. And we're definitely doing Random Giants. This is a continuation of the Random Giants series. Now, the world. I'm not going to change anything. I, I like keeping everything plain. That's how it was meant to be, I feel. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, if we up the world to have, like, loads of spiders, I guess you can... Lots? Now, I'm leaving everything default. Th that'd be fun for me, but... Cheese, it'll cheese the game a bit. No thanks. I'm going to leave everything default. This card, this changes. So, I'm going to click start here. And we're going to get right into it. Now, I know a little bit more about Random Giants. And I know a lot, of, a lot of things I don't think I knew back when I played. I do think I broke the Glomer statue in my original series, which I don't think is a smart decision. I know you can befriend Glomer and he can give you sanity. Problem with Weber is, if you have spiders in your base, they'll attack Glomer. And we spawned in spring because it looks really green. So, I think we're in spring. That's just something to note. But yeah, I know a little bit more than I did back then. Now, I already know Sanity is going to end up being a prime concern with this character. Let me pick that up. And we, we do spawn with spider eggs. We do spawn with monster meat. Oh, see? Spring, killer bees. Pretty sure that's a guaranteed thing. Uh, one of the other big things is under structures. We have spider eggs. Basically, this character can create an unlimited source of spiders. Which is fan-fucking-tastic. So... I can make spider nests, so say they burnt down. Oh, so we have rocks. So say they burnt down for reason X or Y, you know. Uh, spiders in the world would technically be limited. You know, break a level 3 nest, get an egg, rinse and repeat. This character, I can make them. So, I can use that to my advantage. I can use that to gang up on a lot of uh, giants. I know a lot of giants have some bad AoE and will just truck the spiders. But it will work as a distraction. I, I think overall, it's really beneficial. And then if you think about it, eventually when I get in the caves, uh, spiders down there, I can befriend them easy. 
Something I've ran into recently in my other world is bringing pigs down there is kind of a pain in the butt because it's dark. And, you know, pigs freak the hell out when it's dark. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is get enough stuff to maybe make some pretty parasols and all kinds of jazz here. I'm going to have to get some logs here. I think I'm good for food for now. You do spawn with two meat. Let's get some logs for the night. Now, we did spawn in spring, so one of my BB concerns is, of course, going to be rain. And then... Should be summer. <laughs> the, the little I have played of summer, I'm, I am terrified. <laughs> I, I've read a little more. I know a little bit more. I, I've even watched some people play, but oh yeah, I know summer is a, a pain in the butt, especially the giant that's supposed to spawn in summer. The dragonfly. He kind of burns everything down, and by everything, I, I mean absolutely everything. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> uh, you usual don't starve stuff get everything in the beginning. Spawned in a pretty sweet biome. I'm, I'm kind of happy about this, especially all the flint we found right away. And the fact that we know right over here, we have a crap ton of stuff to mine, that makes me a happy camper. And I'm not going to be hesitant here in picking up all these grass things and, and saplings. Go away, you little asshole turkey. You've already eaten half my stuff. Now, something really cool is if... Oh, shit. It's already nighttime. Is if we could find spiders and... Since it's already nighttime, I'm kind of considering just throwing a garland together already. See, now the problem is 100 sanity. That ain't a lot. No, sir. Uh, what I was saying here is if we found a bunch of spiders, if we just kind of posted up there and called it home, we'd already have some kind of defense. So, hound attacks. Uh, hounds attack, hounds get on the webs. We don't suffer a speed penalty. Hounds do. They piss the spiders off. Free defense. There, that's awesome. Now, one thing you have to worry about here is fire. So, say firehounds come in, they ruin your shit. You may want to be careful where you kite them. I mean, I'm already kind of careful in my other world where I kite them, but that's a thing to note. And, of course, Ice Playing a Matic. This little bastard is going to eat that. No, 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 Kill him, I should get it back. Alright, I'll take the meat. That's cool. I only have eight logs, so I should probably start chopping some trees down here. And I need to find my way over to the... That, that that area with all those rocks. We're gonna need gold for, of course, compared to regular Dylan Star or Vanilla. We've got the Alchemy Engine, it's got a different recipe, we've got some electrical doodads we need to make. That turkey's an annoying little shit, isn't he? <laughs> but yeah, things are a little bit different, so we'll have to take care of that. Ah, uh, it, it's been a while, and uh, again, I'm gonna apologize. I mean, there's been a lot of people who've been kinda asking for this. You know, they've been like, where's your next episode? You know, I, I get it. <laughs> Justifiably so. <laughs> Here it is. Now, you may be a little pissed that it's not a, the same character. I'm sorry. I kind of just wanted to... I kind of wanted to break it up. I kind of want to just have a new character and try something different. Now, I'm by no means getting rid of my old world. You, you know you're crazy if you think that. I just want to try something different. I thought it'd be cool. Uh, it's only dusk, so that's kind of good. Now, this is an amazing biome to be in, resource-wise. However... Let's get some logs and get over there, because there's not going to be any trees. Now, we're not getting any pine cones, so i got to remember that these expire versus pine cones. These are my saplings. Uh, oh, I, I know I'm kind of info-dumping here, but something I learned in my other character, uh, my, you know, my normal character, an item I really want, and I'm really, really going to want it on this character, the Tam O'Shanter. Apparently, that thing gives you sanity like a motherfucker. <laughs> and considering that this character's problem is just that, oh yeah. I'm going to take full advantage of that. That's, uh, I don't know if it's like six sanity a minute or something crazy like that. Either way, it's a fantastic amount and it's something I'm going to want to roll with. And I can use that, uh, you know, during the summer, I think, uh, no, not during the summer. During the winter, I think you get a little bit of warmth, so that's some sanity. Uh, during the fall, you get a little bit of warmth. Let's make sure I have enough of this. Yeah. I think one of these is not a pick. So during the fall, you keep a little bit of warmth to get some sanity regen. I think because it's a hat, if it's raining, you get some slight rain, uh, like wetness reduction. Not too much, but it's great just to have for sitting at your campfire during the night with this character. Because when you get down to like 80 and 70, you're already kind of pushing it and the character's already losing his shit. So, something to watch out for. Uh, let's get that flint. We're going to need to make a pick here. Does this connect? I could try to take that wormhole, but I'm going to do my damnedest to get over there so I can start making my science machines and stuff. Now, it's going to be nighttime here. And in fact, it's nighttime now. 
And I do believe that you need to... Let me just eat these seeds. I'll probably end up needing two torches throughout the night. I think they... I think. This is just me being crazy. I feel like they uh, increase the rate at which these torches kind of go, go kaput versus vanilla. That's just my my feeling. And okay, we found it already. So, glaciers! There's, there's gonna be, they're going to be pretty fucking important. And the reason I say that, we're spring. So you know what? I'm not going to waste this torch. We're spring. So summer's right around the corner. Uh, prepping right away? That's very, very important. We found a rope, which is really good. No, no, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't burn. Let me eat that. Yeah, if you drop stuff too close to this kind of fire, bad things happen. Let me cook this. And I'm honestly just going to throw this down. This is, doesn't do me too, too much good. Let me drop that. Uh, I'm going to roast these up here real quick. I need to get a pick going. I need to get to work. But again, ice, summer, we're going to want it. So, now the problem is, that's going to melt. Uh, maybe, let me get an ice box going first. I, I have some time, but that's just something to note. Good to mine it, that's okay. Let me just go scope out this area. Just uh, exploring here. I have 50 some percent. I don't want to stand still too long. I don't want to waste time. Especially since we're in Raid of Giants. I wanna I wanna be relatively quick on things. Okay, now we could be mining right now. We probably should. But I got 31% and I suppose I can just gather some resources throughout the night. As long as the torch doesn't crap out on me. Copper belly's off here. So got 22%. I think we can make it. And then we will get back to harvesting things. Ooh, ooh free pick. Nice. I'm gonna be doing some mining here, so that's cool. I want to get a science machine and alchemy engine. I don't want the rain. <laughs> rain sucks. Now, oh shit. Uh, okay, rain sucks. Uh, what I can do is, I think, I can already make a pretty parasol. And I make this. Yes, I can. That should pretty much mitigate most of this. Now, if I had a real umbrella, it'd mitigate damn near all of it, but I don't. Uh, so let's, let's get mining here. The problem right now is my inventory. This is, this is a little bit of a waste. Let me plant these. As much as I hate these trees, I don't need to eat these. Or cook them to eat them. Let me just get them out of my inventory. Now, let's collect the rocks as well. Let's go to the ones with gold. Let's get mining here. We'll use up our pick and we'll go pick up that other one. And, I mean, this doesn't give me sanity. That's kind of a problem. I'll have to watch my sanity here and try and pick some flowers. But, I, I don't want to get wet. I don't want to... I do not need to be moist. Not as Weber. <laughs> not in Reign of Giants. Being moist is not a good thing. Being moist is normally quite quite awesome. Not here. Not here. So these... I need the gold ones. I'm going to focus on those first. But I got to get some science machines going. Or one science machine. And some electrical doodads and alchemy engine. So I can start crafting some important things here. Uh, I would like to find some of those clockwork guys. So we can get some gears. Get an ice box. And let's go get that, that pick up here. I may as well pick up that flower for the added sanity. That ain't gonna hurt me. Eh, you can see the rain's getting worse. Ugh. That, wow, that pick was shit. <laughs> uh, now, I mean, if this gets to like 20, I'm probably gonna get the parasol out and sit under a tree. And I say that because I should dry off. And it really seems like this rain is picking up. Oh yeah. This rain's picking up. Uh, what about that? How much does that mitigate it? Let's just pick up some things here. See, that's the problem with rain. Ah, uh, something I'm really gonna want here is to kill deer clops, get an eyebrella, which, to my knowledge, unless they've changed it, mitigates all. Oh wow, we're giving some sanity somehow. I guess some of this does restore sanity. Uh, the, the eyebrella mitigates all rain, which is fan-freaking-tastic. I like to be mining right now, but the rain, of course, is a sanity issue. Let's just explore here. Try and stay somewhat productive. Okay, nice nice to know that this is a dead end. But fantastic to have spawn near one of these things. You bet. Okay, now our sanity will go down. Now, of course, we can get cold. Now, I'm not going to make a permanent base here, but making a campfire... That's a buzzard. Like, what's that? Making a campfire, it's going to be hard to maintain this thing. But that should also kind of dry us up a bit. Okay, shit's exploding. I don't know, maybe I might just go park it near a tree. 
<laughs> that rain, man, even with these two hats. Yeah. We're gonna get moist here. Kind of a kind of a waste of a campfire. It's not what I wanna be doing here. Yeah. There are twenty. Let's get a pretty parasol on and go under a tree. Splishy splash, yeah, he had twenty, so it's kinda like a watch your shit kind of thing. Let's go sit under a tree. It's an absolute waste of time. But we're gonna need it. We can take the time to think. Yeah, I don't think being your rock would do anything. It wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, we can take the time to think of, you know, a good strategy here. Hopefully lightning does not strike. So, that... This is all enough in conjunction with each other to completely mitigate moisture. So, I'm actually freezing, if you saw that. So, this is a great area for food and grass, for sure. So now we have a... Gr we also found all the... All the the resources we'll need for our alchemy engine to start prototyping things. A place to call home, maybe. Now, the thing here is with homes, <laughs> we're really going to have to watch out for giants. Now, obviously, they just break everything. And I also have learned from my, my last world, I really don't want to be near right next to the ocean. Penguins jumping in my base is kind of a fucking nuisance. <laughs> That's not something I enjoy. Not, not at all. So I'm not even going to... I'm not even gonna deal with that. Should probably worry about some of this stuff. So, yeah, th th that's just me talking here. Um, I'm probably gonna make a science machine to. Nah. <laughs> Fucking rain. It's got me all confused here. <sighs> Where do we want to call home? I don't want to keep exploring. Fuck it. We're gonna go tree hopping. We're gonna explore. We know all that stuff is. It's fantastic to know. I will pick up one of these things to keep my my sanity going. Of course, we're going back up. We dried off a little bit, but. I think once you hit like 30-ish, you're gonna start getting wet items. So tree hopping, oh, swamp, that's good to know. Tree hopping is a great way to, no, well, that's not a swamp, it's a little itty bitty thingy here. Again, tree hopping is a great way to just keep lowering this, it prevents it from going up. So, trying to stay productive, doing my damnedest. Game wants to halt all progress. Oh. Glomer could be over here. Now, he's not guaranteed to be over here, but this I think he only ever spawns in this type of biome. So, definitely gonna do a check here. And, as you know, if at all possible, I'd like to get some more logs. And it's nice to know that this road's here, because that probably means we know where Pig Village is. Now, again, do notice Weber. That's not a good place to be. Not a Pig Village, no sir. However, if we can find a pig to kill, get some pig skin and make a real umbrella, that'd be pretty sweet. Or better yet, find a touchstone and break the, the thingy, get some pigs. Pig skin, you know, those little pig heads that are there? Break that, get what we need. There's a worm hole. I would take it, but again, that's a sanity loss, as we all know. I'm trying to tree hop here. I'm trying to tree hop and gather resources. And I got a wet, wet birch nut. Wet berries. Mmm, moist berries. Uh, <laughs> some gold here. Again, I'm trying to follow the edges, trying to tree hop here. And hello, it's probably. Oh, that's exactly what it is. You do not want to go near those. Uh, they will get pissy. They will get very pissy. Now, uh, we're going to get wet throughout the night unless we stand here. Uh, green mushrooms. Green mushrooms are sanity. You cook them. Look at that. I don't have grass. Wow. I didn't know. I'm going to do this because this won't prevent or won't cause me to burn down a forest. I had no idea I had no grass. Huh. Well, good thing I had the rocks. That was almost a, a bad start. Let's roast this up. And as a heads up, Weber can eat monster meat with zero penalty. He doesn't get any health from it to my knowledge, but you can use this to... Oh sweet, it's done raining. That's fan-fucking-tastic. Uh, problem is, I'm an idiot and I didn't get grass. The only thing I can think of here would be to lure those guys real far away. <laughs> and then go try to loot their grass, or go back to a biome with grass. The gra- uh, the, uh, the rain kinda threw me off here. Embarrassingly so. But, let's take this off. Oh, shit, I hear a Cacoon. Something else we have to watch out for. To my knowledge, Cacoon will not like me. He will be a dingleberry to me. He will try and kill me. Because, we're a spider. Let's cook these. I will eat those roasted birch nuts. Death to the birch nut trees. If I have learned anything from my last series, it's fuck birch nuts. They're assholes. 
pardon my French. <laughs> they happen so common, I wonder if they changed that. They were so common and oh my god, so annoying. So I do not want to be in this biome where I'm posting up shop here. Uh, let's see, I can't make a shovel, obviously, but... That's kind of a wasted fire pit, but it's a fire pit near... I mean, <laughs> any fire pit in the world. Now here's the thing. The boss fights, we're going to want a lot of fire pits chained together so we can run places to places to keep warm, or even endothermics. So, the more we get down, I suppose, the better. The more options I have, but early game, it's kind of a waste. Probably going to roast these so they don't go bad. And I can place these spider eggs I have. And utilize those, but it's going to be day here soon. And we're going to get moving. We are going to get moving probably back here to the grass. Okay. Yeah. Let's go somewhere where there's grass. So we know there's a catcoon here. Glomer could be in this biome. I, d I don't know. I may want to just take this. It is day. I am getting sanity. Let's explore. It's early game. We got this. And if not, we run like girls. Oh, not a bad, not a bad uh, place to go. I'll take it. So I don't want to go down there. Up? Oh, did you see that? I'm seeing things. It's my sanity. See, Weber does not have a lot of sanity. It goes crazy quick. You know where the caves are? That's good. That is really good. Let's get these rocks since we just used up so many of them. The grass is where it is at right now. Let's get some of that. I, I, that's embarrassing. I don't even have enough to make a regular fire. Something you want to do, often, is build this, and then just click off screen. So that's built. Regardless of whether I have grass in my inventory, I can still make that. That's nice. It's kind of like an emergency. But again, I need to go to grass. So, let's work our way back up here. This looks like there's a savanna biome up here. I'm trying to get situated, guys. I'm trying to get situated. Gotta find a spot to call home. <sighs> Don't know where that's gonna be. I don't remember if days get shorter here. I think days get shorter as we get closer to winter here. That's a problem. There's a bunch of grass that's sweet. To my knowledge, rabbit holes are closed in spring. I don't remember if they open up. They, actually, they do open up in summer. They stay open in autumn. I think they're still open in winter. But in spring, to my knowledge, they always close. Rabbits are gone, guys. They're not here. I'm almost considering making my my future base here. This isn't too bad of an area. It's very lush. Uh, let's take another axe here. And plus we have all those rocks right over there. Thing is, we don't have any natural spider... Uh, I don't to call it. Armies. <laughs> we can kind of work off the one we have. Start farming spiders, have them kill each other, get their meat, etc. But I think we need papyrus. Silk and glands are going to be super easy to obtain for him, because I can befriend them and have them kill each other. And then Papyrus, obviously, we have to take some armies down into the, oh, the swamps here and have them defend my honor, kill some tentacles. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem either. Some logs here. We still need some grass. Sand is going up, but it's about to be dusk. Oh, there's the dusk. <laughs> right on time. We need grass. Do I want to go... How much savanna biomes over here? Looks like there's quite a bit. Let's go look for some grass. Ah, oh, that's the problem with the pretty, pretty parasol, man. It's an umbrella that expires. Like, right away. Not a fan. I hear a mole. I hear that mole. I'm gonna try and keep the monster me as long as I can, because I can try to befriend a spider with it. And this fucker is gonna constantly eat all the stuff that I don't want to eat. He's eating basically all the flint that's on the ground. Grass right now is something I'm trying to gather up. We have enough rocks to make another fire pit. We got quite a few back there. Gonna need to find some gears. Gonna need to find a lot of things. Let's try and set up camp. Uh, I think this is all gonna be a dead end up here. I think this is all gonna be just closed off. Hmm. Let's try and explore here. Again, green mushrooms are going to be very good for Chester, or Chester, uh, very good for Weber. Uh, I cook them, I get like 30 sanity, I think I take a little health hit, but it's a lot of sanity. And, and on the topic of Chester, he kind of, sadly, loses a lot of usefulness as his character. And I say that in the sense that if I post up near a bunch of spiders, they're going to attack him. The only time they won't attack him 
is when they're following me as like a friend, like I fed them like pigs. And if I'm just chilling next to some spiders for some natural defense, they'll attack them. So it's kind of a trade-off again, one of the Weber trade-offs. He's got a lot of pros, a lot of cons, but that's just one to note if you consider playing him. Uh, there's, let's see, those, there's, there's, whatchamacallit right here, there's ocean. There's gonna be penguins by post up here. <laughs> I don't know. Also, it could be kind of beneficial to post up there in the sense that I could, like, line up my resources against the wall. Chances are, giants are gonna walk into it. I don't know. Let's follow this a little bit here. I'd like to get some of those going, some V-boxes. Ooh, this is good. Uh, there, nothing's gonna happen with these unless they all catch on fire. I can harvest them. This is good because then I can start using papyrus. Uh huh. Where am I going? Where are we going, guys? I don't know. Oh, there's a pig. There's a spider, bro. Spider, bro. Now here's the amazing idea. Feed two, one or two, have them fight each other. They all come out and kill each other. I pick up all the fat loot. Let's try it. I don't know if like I can. I think there's. I think there. I don't know if it still happens, but if you befriended one that was near a bunch of spiders, like they would all be friends. I think. No, he said. Nope. See, hip. I think we got one. Let's have him attack that one, and then if any other ones are in here, they should come defend him. Um, basically, I. I kind of cheese the system here a little bit. And I try and steal the loot for the job. So they're gonna fight each other. To my advantage. Kill this one. Yes. And now they're killing each other. And spiders, you know, defend each other. So, I thought they could. They used to. Well, no, they just don't care. I'll take that silk. I'll just leave it be. It's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna try to put this one. Yeah, like right here. I didn't want to burn anything down. That's why I waited. Roast up these berries. Numb on them. Anybody? Any any other spiders here? Huh? No? Not really? Uh, so we got our monster meat back. We had them kill each other. We got some free silk. So that's how you essentially replenish your supplies from spiders. So. I don't think I want to post up here. There's a savanna biome right over here that doesn't intrigue me all that much. Oop. My first caps lock. Let's see. Where do we want to post up and then we'll wrap up. Hmm. I don't want to be near an ocean. I really don't. I don't want to deal with the penguins. And the only thing I, I the only thing I worry about here is say I put my base right in the middle here. What if we were just chilling in our base in like a, a giant? Excuse me, a giant spawn. He could spawn kind of anywhere, come in any direction. So if I was in a corner, which brings back the ocean, you know, he couldn't spawn over here. He'd have to come from like a one direction over there. Kind of like a trade-off. So like a peninsula is a good idea. So, this. But then you get all the penguin spawns that might bother the shit out of me. <laughs> Which, in my other world, uh, I've had penguins post up right in my base. And in this one, they spawn ice. If you didn't know, they uh, spawn like four or five little ice cubes. So, I think it's a good idea that we know that the spiders are here. I don't know if I want to post up right here or not. Depends how big this forest is. Let's check. Let's, let's do what little I can do some slight exploring here because there's spiders here and I may want to take advantage of that fact my torch is going to go out at an alarming rate because of the rain and there's pigs here so that could cause some problems but if we have spiders they'll defend us yeah hmm this might not be too bad there's a graveyard over there I don't know if that means we're going to have spiders typically they are fireflies 45% torch, already gonna have to make another one. And see, we're already near an ocean. I'm kinda considering I'm gonna have to just back myself into a peninsula and call it there. And I do want to post relatively post up relatively close to a swamp. And I say that with the reasoning that I'm probably gonna wanna be farming a lot of uh, reeds. So it sounds like there's some spiders over there to my right. Which is beneficial. Let me just check. Yep, there's some spiders. Not sure why there's spiders over here in a savanna biome. Hmm. This might not be a too too bad of a place. There's a lot of trees, there's a lot of spiders. We're pretty close to a 
a uh, swamp. I'm considering it. It's kind of strange for me. We can always make it home, but it is pretty close to the ocean. I don't know. This episode might be a little bit long as I, I really do my damn just to kind of find a house. Let's get away from that pig, because as soon as daylight comes out, he's going to come after me. Run! <laughs> Pigs will just aggro to you. They will try and kill you. I have to make another pretty parasol. Yep, I was waiting for that. So, that pretty parasol just crapped out on me. Let's, uh, make another one. So we can dry off being near here. There's a gobbler. There's a spider nest. Of course, we can tree hop like bosses. How big is the swamp? Is it just like rinky dink non existent? That's kind of what I'm thinking is happening here. So it may not be worth it. Posting up here. That's not too bad. There's there's a bit of reeds here. Yeah, there's there's quite a few. Reeds are kind of hard to find unless you find a giant ass swamp where you go underground. Splishy splashy. I get it, Weber. You're moist. Calm down. Let's get your sanity back up, and there's our silk beard. But the nice thing is there's spiders here, so we can already utilize them. I, I feel like I'm spending way too much time looking for a house than I normally would. <laughs> uh. This isn't looking bad, but the cr the roads running through my house might be a little annoying. I'm uh, I'm slightly anal retentive. Yeah, I'll probably get over it. Yeah, I think I'll get over it. I might put it like right here. Uh, I want to put it near the sp the those that spawns frogs. Hmm. We're gonna find a base, a place to call it, and then I have to wrap it up. Huh. I just want to get situated and get get some infrastructure going here. This thing's bad. It's kind of close to that. That uh, I think right here is gonna work. And that road's kind of a nice touch. We can just take it wherever we want. I can get rid of that swamp turf if I want. I'm calling it here. This is where it's very awkward placement, but we have roads to pretty much everywhere. So we have a savanna biome over here. We have a bunch of spiders. We have our reeds, which is fan freaking tastic. I'm going to want them to spread the the fight the spider population. Uh, we already know where I think this this one was connected to this one. Uh, those wormholes are connected. Don't know where that one takes us. We'll find out. We do have a pig here, so we're probably going to try to try to focus on killing him to get an umbrella that doesn't suck. Slap down some science machines and some alchemy engines. Maybe make a run back over here and start doing some mining runs once we have our backpack. But guys, calling it here. This is home sweet home for now. Thanks for watching. Reign of Giants is back. I apologize for the delay. I'll do what I can to keep the series going. Again, this is not my job as much as I would love it to be. <laughs> I do work 40 hours a week. I will post as much as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking around. And of course, I'll see you next time.